All right, we're going to wrap this monster up with the healthcare sector. If you're watching this as a segmented healthcare sector, you're not going to see it all, but there are lots of other parts of this this weekend. I just really wanted to go through some of these areas. Now, the healthcare sector has really been the uh, worst. Um, it's been the zero RS or the lowest RS for quite a while. Um, months now and it just looks like it wants to peak above so there's really nothing here all that exciting still in a bare range everything else when you're looking on the surface of our equal weight its uh, breadth is at or worse than the universe in many cases it's in still a relative downtrend it's flattening out versus some um, but not really outperforming. Now, one of the things that holds this down a lot is that biotechnology is a huge part of this, and biotechnology has really been a dog, comparingly to the other stuff. Now, pharmaceuticals uh, are down the least over the last quarter than medical supplies and healthcare services. Um, all of these are worth a look. The two in the middle, medical supplies and healthcare services, have really tried, started to catch my eye over the last few weeks. And again, on this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to really concentrate some more on the ETFs. We've got a sortable table here. we got things you can look at. I've pulled out some we're going to look at here in just a minute, and then we'll run through the subsectors very quickly. Um, so we can take a look at just kind of what's going on overall. But from an ETF standpoint, you've got a lot of areas that are looking good, like IHF breaking into a new RSI bull range. The weekly never lost its bull range. Why are all my charts messed up here? And they are. These are charts that are that should be updated like this, um, but still in a bull range, we're working higher and we can get a breakout over this area on the weekly. We could certainly get some continued movement. Um, next, we move over to the uh, iShares IEHS, extremely low volume, um, but this is healthcare staples. I think it's an interesting concept. Came down to this value area is moving back higher. Um, trying to move into new RSI bull range. The weekly never lost the bear or the bull range, excuse me. Um, we have the just the basic select healthcare fund, XLV. I wanted you to be able to take a look at this one as well because it's kind of back down right above this volume or right below this volume area that if we can get a breakout above, say, 134 ish, then you could continue up and test those high. This failed breakout up here came down, it's been kind of worked out against these lows. And now it's trying to move back above the MA bands on the weekly. We never lost the RSI bull range here. And some of these are trying to make their way back up. Now, RYH is the equal weight view of this. Very similar to the large cap view at the moment. XHE, though, healthcare equipment is something I'm a little more interested in. You can see almost a potential double bottom here. It's up towards the high of its range. Broke its downtrend lines, back testing on the daily. If it can get over these previous lows, this polarity level, that could be a strong breakout and move us back up. The weekly still has some work to do, definitely. Um, that's something we got to be conscious of. Um, but this daily, if it can break over here, that is a great start for us to be looking at in healthcare. PSCH, the small caps are right up against that. Again, pretty low volume here, and small caps are a little more dangerous right now. So I'm not sure I jumped that route, but I just wanted you to be able to see where it was coming out. And see, here's where our real problems are. Biotechnology is breaking down again. I really thought it had some chances, but this is just kind of like your high tech um, software, things like that, high multiples, things that have uh, a lot more uncertainty to them are just not getting rewarded at all. They will bounce strong here at some point. The question is when and how far, and right now it's not showing in these charts at all. When we move over to the subsectors, looking at biotechnology first, it looks just like that ETF, and it's pressing against those lows. We'll see if it rolls on over or if it decides to try to bounce. But when you go to healthcare services, your chart's on down there, but it's got a good bit more of an opportunity here, but still in a bear range, so let's not get ahead of ourselves too far. Medical equipment is a little more up towards those highs and looks like it may want to take that polarity line out just like our ETF did. Um, if we can see this, we could get a break above here. If we don't, we might have a bear, uh, uh, sorry, a negative reversal on the RSI here and it could roll back over. So it's a very tentative, but the medical equipment's one of the areas I like the most in this space. Pharmaceuticals was the strength and now it's kind of waffling a little bit more. Um, it's RSI is still higher and it did hold 40, but if I was gonna go against one of these, I would probably be looking more towards the medical equipment or the healthcare services. 
So hopefully that gives you a good idea on healthcare. Uh, that was the quickest one of all of them, but it's really not something I think is worth digging that deep into because in the first ones we went through, there are just so many other opportunities. It is just nuts. So let's see how things uh, start tomorrow. I'm gonna get this up as late, this, as early as I can tomorrow, and hopefully you can have some time to watch it before open. Have a great day. If you're watching this in segments, then I hope you have a great week, and I hope you're able to look at some of these different sectors and find some things that look great to your trading style.